Good morning, fellow gamers. It's Jay Dreamer, and uh, we are talking my five top tips for Eden. So here we go. Number one, the loyalty you have here and the loyalty of everything around you is, you know, it's fairly low, but you got to get that started because the first two numbers, 2700, with first level occupations that you have to go after, you want to try and get those within the first 24 hours. Get after getting your building set. So make sure you go in here and you set all of your buildings really quick so you get the immediate 400 loyalty from just these buildings. And when you're out here on these outer edges, you know, everything's really low. You know, you're looking at uh, up to level five, up to level eight, up to level nine, up, you know, whatever it is, they're around you. And you want to quickly take them. So obviously the empties are the fastest, fastest. Now, if you have some level fours, those level fours are, you know, within your, your first four building reach, grab them. Level fives starting to get that 600. So you need a few resources to be processed so you can take that level five into the rhythm of the first 48 hours. What's important to understand is that you take tiles, their resources are produced. They show up here in this queue and you have to process that. Well, when you first start, you're at zero resources. You gotta wait for the tiles to produce resources. You have to harvest them. Once they're in the queue, you can process them. And this is where I find being on the clock matters. If you are, you know, you, your first 700 units of construction material to upgrade your coalition buildings takes 10 minutes, well, set a timer 10 minutes from now, you want to re-harvest, you want to empty your queue, you want to restart it with a fresh amount, and that will increase that 10 minute time to 30 minutes. And then you wanna set another timer and you wanna repeat that cycle and over and over again until you have got enough resources collected and processed that you can push these initial uh, coalition building up to 1,000, 1,200. Um, because that that is where you have to really be on the clock managing your collection and processing time. When you do that properly, that first 24 hours and that first 48 hours, you can really excel in getting ahead of the loyalty curve without having to spend any money, without having to do any specialization. Now, specialization does help. You know, like I said, that first 24, getting that loyalty up is hugely important. You can augment a little bit of it by going into your blue construction and going to the right. And depending on how much uh, specialization points you have, each one of these five of five nodes gives you 300 more loyalty. That gives you a boost in how much time and clock management you have to have in this production process. Now, also bear in mind that the speed in which you produce resources in this queue is affected by this front line and these four front lines. I typically have to balance hand in hand how fast I push my coalition buildings and processing of resources for construction material for coalition buildings against front line materials processing and upgrading because if you are just increasing the amount of processing time of the coalition buildings time is big but the amount that you're able to process is little well you're struggling to get things through the queue well if you upgrade you'll see you get a speed processing upgrade you get a processing quantity upgrade so that's why you have to kind of balance the two you balance the two so you're not wasting a lot of time for a little amount coming out of the queue. Upgrade the front line so you get more going through the queue at a faster rate. All right. Tip number two. When you are pushing for resources so you have more resources to process, you're going to want to force attacks. So the thing about forcing attacks is it kills troops. All right. So like right here i'm i'm under my loyalty so 5300 and this loyalty costs 5600. when you do that there's there's a little trick that i want to show you so 
I could force attack with my strongest legion and I can bump up to, you know, 111,000 troops per rank. But if I were to drop these down and I would basically try and find the minimum that I have to hit it with, I'm gonna drop it to 40,000. And also you, you might wanna use your lesser troops. My T9s are really important for battle. I don't wanna burn them up pushing for tiles. Um, so you have to pick and choose your battle wisely. So I'm going to take this one right here. So let me show you kind of what it happened. So out of the 40, I lost 15, 13, 13. Well, that's still 40. 15, 13, 13, yeah. Around 40, 42, 43. Uh, thousand troops. But that is a small number. Let's throw in my lesser troops. All right. The ones that I really don't have to have for battle, but they're fast -er, and they're strong enough. So I'm going to send the same 40 to the same strength of tile, knowing that I'm forcing it. And if I lose 40,000 of those, it's not such a hit. So I'm still strong enough to take a level 13 tile. So that's tip two, lowering your losses when forcing tiles. Tip three is a seasonal challenge. All right, doing the seasonal challenge here and getting all your quests done is very important because it, it helps you accomplish getting the resources that you need to continue to grow. They give you a lot more benefits, but also doing your quests, your, your Reign of Chaos quests. These two, the season mission and the season challenge are the, the personal benefits that you can gain um, from this game and from Eden. And they don't rely on anyone else outside of your ability to play and invest time into the game. So that's important to understand. You control the outcome. And, and staying on top of this throughout the season and staying on top of this throughout the season gives you the most benefits possible. And under the seasonal rewards, under the personal achievement, this little number here, that is telling you how well you are performing. And tip four is all about troop management. Reinforce tiles of the enemy. You gotta be a baller and you gotta be a, a heavy, heavy hitter for you to be able to take head on someone that is reinforcing. Now you might get lucky every now and then and have somebody that is just throwing troops on a reinforcement because they are the only ones available and they're trying just to save the, the occupation. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna come up against somebody that is built to reinforce and protect from enemy guilds. If you're gonna send your strongest troops to a reinforced tile, pay attention to what happens in the reports. To the chaos battle report, you can see I don't attack reinforced tiles very often. Um, I attack tiles that I know I can take. I can send my strongest legion and have over 500 demo and take that tile back. No problem. Easy peasy. I don't lose any troops. But if I'm going against reinforced tiles, I'm just not built strong enough to go against them. Their dragons are stronger. They're wearing Dragon Master gear. Um, they have the most current uh, bio skins for all of their their hero. You know. It's just, I mean, it's a it's a rich man's game playing power to power. Um, be smarter, go around them, do what you can elsewhere. I mean, this is a team effort and that actually leads me to my tip number five, teamwork. Now, teamwork is how this game is played and won. We recently went after the world, uh, the temple, and we, our guild, it went up against a very strong guild from another state. And um, we gave it our best effort. Let me kind of zoom out so you can see. You know, in this in this arena, basically we are set here in this center mark. Um, there were only two of the guilds strong enough to actually enter in and go head to head. 
So it was us against APL. And um, in the mud, in this area right here, before the temple opens, you try and occupy the area and maintain your control over tiles. One person is not enough to win that. It takes coordinated efforts and you have to have enough firepower to take and hold tiles because, you know, people are gonna be coming in with their C30s and their most current heroes and most current skins and, and bio skin. And it's just, you know, it's a madhouse of, of killing, you, which is fun. But if you're not built that way, yeah, there's only so much you can do. So the, the point is, is teamwork requires you to spread your tiles out. Get as many tiles all throughout this area, all throughout the mud, all throughout the center, and you wanna hold them until the temple opens. Whoever's holding the more majority of territory in this section, when that temple opens, has the ability to attack the temple. Now, this may be agreements that we as one guild to the other have made. Um, it really doesn't matter. Whoever can get themselves in position when that world center opens, and getting in position is by holding the tiles around the temple, team work is the only way to get to there and to get that done. So as far as my tips go, you know, first 48 hours most important, lowering your losses when forcing attacks, Seasonal missions and seasonal challenges are critical for your personal success. Uh, don't kill yourself taking on reinforced tiles. And teamwork is the only way to play this game and win together. So that's my quick top five for Eden. I appreciate you watching. I hope that was helpful. And, you know, keep kicking ass, playing the game, and please share what you know um, so others can learn and improve their game as the game gets better through teamwork. All right, bye.